today this 10 years old male patient was brought to me by his parents for the complaints of headaches and decreased vision his vision was 660 both eyes when i examined the fundus i found hyperemic swollen optic discs with absent cups i thought of neuroretinitis uh, optic neuritis papillitis and papilledema as well but when i did refraction his vision improved to 612 in both eyes with plus 10 diopter sphere so he was high hyperope i diagnosed him as a case of pseudo papilledema with amyotropic amblyopia because his vision was not correcting fully I gave him full correction, advised him closed follow-ups. So today I would like to tell you about the pseudopapilledema, true papilledema and true bilateral disc edema without raised ICP. So first of all, what is papilledema? Papilledema means bilateral swollen optic discs due to raised intracranial pressure. Now why, uh, in which conditions you will be able to see papilledema? You will be able to see papilledema in brain tumor, idiopathic intracranial hypertension, meningitis or intracranial hemorrhages. You can also find bilateral true optic disc edema without raised intracranial pressure if you remember yesterday's case of unilateral optic neuritis papillitis now papillitis can present bilaterally as well and in papillitis there is true optic disc edema then malignant hypertension you will have true bilateral disc edemas with peripapillary cotton wool spots and there will be raised very raised blood pressure then diabetic papillopathy you will found find true bilateral disc edema without raised intracranial pressure so all these conditions can cause true optic disc edemas so the fundus findings in both papilledema and true disc edema will be same there will be obscuration of underlying retinal vessels due to swelling of the peripapillary nerve fiber layers now here uh, you can see the pseudo papilledema in this 10 years old high hyperopic patient you can see the vessels in the peripapillary area they are visible so the disc margins will be blurred you may found now that's the yesterday's case of papillitis now here you can say that the vessels are obscured and there is a raised disc and the vessels are dilated as well you may find the splinter hemorrhages and peripapillary cotton wool spots as well so the now here i am showing you this uh, a true bilateral optic disc edema in malignant hypertension in this patient the bp was 210 by 140 so in a pseudo papilledema the vessels on the optic disc and peripapillary area will be visible the causes are disc drusen congenital optic disc anomalies high hyperopia like in this case so patients with true papilledema will have tinnitus headaches nausea vomiting transient visual obscurations and diplopia and may have sixner palsy as well in pseudo papilledema patient may be asymptomatic and you can see the swollen discs incidentally like uh, in this case with apparent disc swelling but no signs and symptoms you may observe a non-congested elevated disc with absent cup and non-dilated 
veins and arteries passing over the its surface now in this case that was diagnosed as a case of brain tumor that is shown here so that's how you differentiate pseudo edema from true papillary edema and bilateral to true disc edemas all these conditions will have signs and symptoms the vision will be decreased in proportion to the etiology like in papillary edema you may find 66 vision in optic neuritis 612 in ischemic optic neuropathy 660 in malignant hypertension with severe changes maybe less than 660 so that was all about the true papilledema pseudo papilledema and bilateral disc edema thank you